Uh, hi guys, uh, I'll be uh, recording and sharing a few shortcut videos, especially on speed mathematics. I'll be covering a lot of aptitude topics, but uh, focusing more on speed mathematics. So I'll be recording a series of videos of 10, 15 minutes to make it uh, easy for you guys. So I'll be starting with uh, cube root and square root uh, videos followed by LCM, HCF and other shortcuts like multiplication shortcuts, finding last digit of uh, numbers, finding last digit and last two digits of the numbers and, and so on. And also also uh, uh, eighth and focusing on eighth, ninth uh, and 10th mathematics where you can do it fast, where you can do calculate numbers without pen and paper, where you can do without Calci, you can, you can save a lot of time. That's going to help you in uh, your uh, regular uh, academic subjects also in future for if you want to prepare for iit and other other exams definitely is going to help you guys so i'll start with the cube root and square root today and it will be about 10 15 minutes uh, focusing more on i'll repeat focusing more on uh, speed mathematics so first finding cube root of four five six seven digits numbers finding cube root of cube numbers finding cube root of cube numbers okay uh, finding how to find cube root of cube number without pen and paper all right so first what we need to know is what one cube two cube up to nine cube ends with ends with okay one cube is one two cube is eight that ends with eight obviously three cube is 27 but ends with seven four cube is 64 ends with 4, 5 cube is 125 ends with 5, 6 cube is 216 ends with 6, 7 cube is 343 ends with 3, similarly 8 cube is 512 ends with 2, 9 cube is 729 ends with 9, 10 cube is 1000 ends with 0. So if you look at this last digit, one cube ends with one, is no change. You can see that four cube ends with four, no change, same digit. Five cube ends with five, six cube ends with six. You can see nine cube ends with nine, zero ends with zero. So these six digits ends with same digit, there's no change. But other four digits, like two cube ends with eight. Remember two cube ends with not two eight, but eight cube ends with two. 2 cube ends with 8, but 8 cube ends with 2. Is there any number which ends with 2? If you are finding cube root of that particular number, remember cube root of that number ends with 8. If the number ends with 8, if you are finding cube root of that particular number, then it ends with 2. Similarly, 3 cube ends with 7 and 7 cube ends with 3. 3 cube ends with 7 and 7 cube ends with 3. So it is like this. 2 is 8. 8 is 2, 3 is 7, 7 is 3, rest of the digit as it is. Okay, so if I take first example, say simple one, 10,648 is a cube number, finding cube root of this particular number. What you need to do, right to left, right to left, remember, last three digits skip to start with. Skip last three digit of the number. What left out is 10 you need to check 10 is between which two cube number. 10 is between which two cube number. 10 is between eight and 27, that is between two cube and three cube. Take two and three, two and three base, not two cube and three cube, just base two and three. Every time take zero on the right hand side. That is because when you skip three digit, for every three digit, you will get one digit cube. So I'm taking the digit now. So answer is between 20 and 30. I repeat the answer for 10,648 cube root of 10,648 is between 20 and 30. So either it is 21, 22, 23, 24, then 29 possible. But last digit of the number is 8 because 10,648 ends with 8. Last digit of the number is 8. Any number ends with 8. Answer for that particular number ends with 2. 8 is 2. So between 30, 20 and 30, number which ends with 2 between 20 and 30 number which ends with 2 is 22 obviously that's the only number which ends with 2 21 22 23 till 29 number which ends with 2 is 22 so cube root of 10648 is 22 
22 cube is 10,648. So if I take next one, second one, say 19,683. One more five digit number, find the cube root. First step is right to left, last three digit we need to skip. So I'm not considering 683. What left is 19? 19 is between again same 8 and 27. So again answer is between 20 and 30. Between 2 and 3 is 0 every time is 20 and 30. So answer is either 21, 22, 23 till 29. But this time number ends with 3. Any number ends with 3. Any number which ends with 3. Cube root of that particular number ends with 7. So between 20 and 30 number which ends with 7. Between 20 and 30 number which ends with 7 is 27. So cube root of 19,683 is 2027. 20, okay, let's take one more number. 941192. Cube root of 941192. Right to left, if I skip last three digits, it's 192. What left out is 941. See 941 is between which two cube number? 941. 941 is between here 9 and 10. Here you can see this is the possibility, right? 9 cube is 729. 10 cube is 1000. Here 941 that is between 9 cube and 10 cube. So we need to write 9 and 10. 0 on the right hand side obviously. So answer is between 90 and 100. Number ends with 2. Any number which ends with 2. Any number which ends with 2. Here. Here. Any number ends with 2. Answer for that particular number or cube root of that particular number ends with what? 8. Between 90 and 100, which number ends with 8? Only 98 ends with 8. So what is 98 cube? 98 cube is 941192. 41, Here, 27 cube is 19,683. Similarly, 22 cube is 10,648. So, First one, number ends with 8. Answer ends with what? 2. You can see that. Second one, number ends with 3. Answer ends with what? 7. Next, number ends with 2. Answer ends with 8. Let me take the other digits now. Okay. If I take number, say, this time ends with, say, 5. Number ends with 5 this time. So let me take the fourth one. Fourth one. One five six two five. One five six two five. We are finding cube root. Remember, last three digits are six twenty five. Six two five. What left out is fifteen. Fifteen is between again two cube and three cube. Between twenty and thirty. Any number ends with five. Answer also ends with five. Any number ends with five. Answer also ends with 5. Between 20 and 30, the only number which ends with 5 is 20, 25. Isn't it? So fifth one for a change. Say 704969. 704969. Okay. 704969. First step. Right to left. Last three digit. Okay. Skip. What left out? 704. 704 is between which two cube number? 704 is between which two cube number? It is between 8 cube and 9 cube. For your reference, if you want, you can see here 8 cube is 512, 9 cube is 729, 704 is between 8 cube and 9 cube. So answer is between 80 and 90. Answer is between 80 and 90. Any number which ends with 9. Number which ends with 9. Answer also ends with 9. So 89 is the only number which ends with 9. So 80 is finding square root. 
first is always last digits. So let's find one by one. One square ends with one, two square ends with four, three square ends with nine, four square 16 ends with six, five square 25 ends with five, six square ends with six, seven square ends with nine. You can write if you want full number 36, 49, but what we need is only last digit. Eight square is 64 ends with four, nine square 81 ends with one, right? Now, if you look at this guys, one square ends with one, nine square also ends with one. So any number which ends with one, answer for that particular number or square root of that particular number either ends with one or ends with nine. Okay, if any number ends with four guys, then answer for that particular number ends with either two or eight. For nine, it is either three or seven, for six, it is either four or six. For example, you know that number ending with six and say, say an answer is between 20 and 30. Then it is either 24 or 26. If number ends with one say, and it is between 20 and 30, then it is either 21 or it is 29. If a number ends with four, it is between 60 and 70 say, then it is either 62 or 68. Any number ends with four, answer ends with either two or eight. Any number ends with nine, answer ends with either three or seven. Any number ends with six, answer ends with either four or six. Any number ends with one, answer ends with one or nine. But if number ends with five, if number ends with five, answer also ends with five only, five only. Between 20 and 30, only 25 possible. Between 30 and 40, 35. Only one number for five. All right, these are called guys, complement numbers. One complement is nine in decimal number system, both ends with one. Two complement is eight, both ends with four. Three complement number is seven, both ends with nine. Four complement is six, ends with six. Five complement is five only. That's why only one number possible. Let me take first example. Six, zero, eight, four, say. What we are finding is square root, remember. Not last three digit, this time last two digit, right to left, not last three digit, last two digit. So what left out is 60. 60 is between 49 and 64, these two square numbers, right? 60 is between 49 and 60, that is between 7 square and 8 square, 0 on the right hand side. So answer is between 70 and 80. But any number ends with 4, answer ends with either 2 or 8. So between 70 and 80, number ending with 2 is 72. Number ending with 8 is 78. Two numbers are there, remember, either 72 answer or 78 answer. Since there are two numbers, we need to find the right one here. How to find the right one? So compared to cube root, one extra step in square root. Cube root only one number possible. So no comparing here, either 72 possible or 78 possible. So you need to find the right one. So how to find the right one? So compared to cube root, one extra step. So you need to concentrate on that one extra step, 72 or 78. Look at this screen. 60 is close to 49 or close to 64. 60 is close to 64. Not last two digit, remember, remaining. Remaining is 60 here. 6 and 0, 60. It is between 49 and 64, correct. But is it close to 49 or close to 64? It is close to 64, higher side. So higher side is 78. So answer for the question is 78. What if it is close to 49? What if it is close to 49? Then answer for the question is 72. Close to higher side, higher side number. Close to lower side, you need to pick the lower side number. All right, now if I take, say 11881. Remember square root, right to left, last two digit you need to skip. What left out? 118. 118 is between 100 and 121. Between 10 square and 11 square. 0, 0. All right. Any number ends with 1? Answer ends with either 1 or 9. 101 or 109 it is. 101 or 109. But 118 is close to 100 or close to 121. 118 is close to 
121. So you need to go with 109. To go with 109. All right, let me take a few more examples. Third one. 1, 2, 5, double 4, say. 1, 2, 5, double 4. Last two digits, double 4, what left out is 125. It is between 121 and 144, between 11 square and 12 square, 0, 0, 125, double 4 ends with 4. Any number ends with 4, answer ends with either 2 or 8. 112 or 118, but 125 is close to 121. So you need to go with 112. So answer for the question is 112. All right, the fourth one say 12769. 12769, you are finding square root. Last two digits. Skip what left out, 127 between 121 and 144, 11 square and 12 square, 0 on the right hand side. Any number which ends with 9, any number which ends with 9, answer ends with either 3 or 7. So either 113 answer or it is 117, 113 or 117. But 127 is close to... 121. So answer for the question is 113. If I take number ends with say 5, number ends with 5, 156 is between 144 and 169, between 12 square and 13 square, 120, 130. But any number ends with 5, answer also ends with 5 only. Between 120 and 130, the only number which ends with 5 is 125. No other digits possible because any number ends with 5, answer ends with 5 only. So no comparing, only one number possible like cube root, only one answer, nothing to compare. So square root of 15,625 is 120, 125. Okay. If I take a 6, 7, 8 digit number, you need to be good at you need to be good at finding square of 20, 30, 40. Then you can also find cube root or square root of 6, 7, 8, 9 digits. For that, you need to be good at multiplication. So when I take multiplication shortcuts in coming classes, in the coming videos, then you will find those numbers also very, very simple and easy. Only thing is you need to be a little quick when it comes to multiplying numbers. So after multiplication shortcuts, you also find 8, 9, 10 digit numbers also easy straightforward without pen and paper you should be able to do it so we I, I, I covered cube root also square root of the number remember finding cube root of cube numbers only and finding square root of square numbers only so in my next video multiplication shortcuts lcm and scf shortcut finding last digit and other things we will concentrate on thank you so much guys